I know that you've watched me squeeze out thousands of blackheads and whiteheads here on my YouTube channel, but I know that many of you guys suffer from acne yourself and you're just not sure what to use. This is why one of the first products I created at SLMD Skincare is my acne system. This is a simple, twice daily, three-step regimen. It is formulated for all skin types and all acne types. So for those of you who are not able to see a dermatologist or who are just plain confused when you walk down that skincare aisle, you want to go to slmdskincare.com and check out my acne system. Never hurting you, okay? All right, what do I use? Is there like a You a just tell, just say? say, just say, yeah, just say like ouch or something. Pineapples or something. Yeah, you can say pineapples too. Okay. This is not, this is not 50 shades of pimple popping. All right. You don't have to have a safe word. Cool. Stomach grab now. We might have to call this video that though. Just because we were running out of titles, you know what I mean? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just kind of pushing around, just trying to see if we can't rip this out without, sometimes if we can get it out without breaking it, that kind of even more ensures that we got it all. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I pinching you? No, a little, not a whole lot. Let me get you a little money now, I got plenty of it. Just gonna charge you extra later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. This will be an extra eighty dollars. Don't worry, no extra charge. That was a total joke. You're good. Feel anything dripping? Or just that numbing just medicine. Just the dripping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just numbing medicine dripping out. Just think you're like having a little baby today. A little baby. Yeah. Out smaller than face. our baby. Smaller than the babies that we women. Give oh. birth to, so feel lucky about that. Cool. I'm just gonna squeeze it because so he won't have to deal with it there. My mom's favorite part. There's just numbing fluid under there, which makes it spurt a little. Sorry, got a little in your glove hand there. Mom's happy. I'm gonna put a little more numbing under there now, now that I know where it is. Here, you might feel just a little baby pinch, maybe. Pinch, sorry. You okay? Mm hmm. Okay, good. You're doing awesome. We almost have the whole thing out. So your mom, being a papaholic, she, I'm pretty proud of her. She keeeps her hands off of this. <laughs> she go running away from her? Like, she must have, did she like want to say hello to you and to this bump every time she saw you? Yeah, she looking at it? No. no. But every time I'd mention it, she'd be like, oh, let me look at it. <laughs> you know, we're really, even though it was a pretty big bump on your cheek, you couldn't see it so much because it's on the side of your face. So you're right. You're yeah. probably not super noticeable. Not That's exactly. kind of good. Yeah. Plus I've learned my lesson. Oh yeah. From watching you. Not oh, good. See? And we're close enough that she can get to us and see us in person too. Um, this one, I can see probably why it wanted to come back because he had this removed before and it kind of came back. The wall of the cyst is pretty thin. So I can see it, you know, it, it could break, e you know, easily and like a little parts of it can be left behind. Can you give me a little traction that way, please? Thank you. I'm just trying to ensure as much as I can that, you know, all the little cyst walls gone. Sounds I'm good. Any little extra tissue that I think I might see that looks suspicious. Still something here? Mm -hmm. I'm just pulling on you. Okay, cool. Okay, so you shouldn't. It's not really sharp, but you can feel me tugging on you. Yeah, it feels more like a tug. It wasn't too bad. Right here, I can still see some right here. Give me just a slight traction there. Thank you. that I got. 
that here. Did that I pretty much almost had it all. I, I or may have it all. Let me just double check here. Hmm. Huh? Looks pretty good. Need something to fall asleep to for the rest of the night. Oh, this is gonna be her lullaby. Isn't that nice? That's that's Isn't that nice. weird. That's weird. No. She's not alone. I yeah. bet you just think you're gonna be somebody else's lullaby, a stranger's <laughs> lullaby. That's weird. Comforting. <laughs> that's what this is called. Assist lullaby. That's what we're calling it. Alright. Got it now. <laughs> oh, a little bu buzzing sound. Not a, you're okay, right? Yeah, Nothing hurt? Fine. I'm just buzzing it just in case there's a little cyst wall there. Maybe it, it will help to get rid of any of it that I can't see. I don't even think it needs a deep stitch. It's so thin wall right there. Just a little side by side. It's better. That's what we're going to do. So, um, do you have somebody around you that can take out a stitch? Mm, not that it... Like mom's nodding here so <sighs> mom's nodding i think she can take out the stitch it's very straightforward all right cool i think so because right, her his skin overlying the cyst is so thin that i don't think it would tolerate me putting a um a deep stitch under there and there's not really any tension on the wound edges. So we're just putting some top ones in, but be gentle. Don't rub your head, you know, like if you're shaving and stuff, don't really pull on the edges mm -hmm. too much, even afterwards, because there's no deep stitch under there, there, because I think it'll just make it puckered actually to do that. Okay. So we're not gonna do that in this case. Yeah, the deep stitches is good. Good, there you go, nice and fun. 